Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here with football game plan at the 2022 East-West Shrine Bowl in Las Vegas, Nevada with Devin Cochran of Georgia Tech. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? No one New Orleans Saints hated, by the way, too, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing. That's my guy, man. But, uh, Devin, listen, you played at Georgia Tech, and I've always had an affinity for the program and how things are run. And the, the course that, you know, has gone from you know, what it was to where it is now to where it's going to be, right. how much have you learned? just throughout your college career, going through all that transition? Well, I was at Vanderbilt at first. Mm -hmm. I grad transferred to Vandy, um, went, to, went to Georgia Tech. But um, seeing the change has been crazy. I remember uh, coming out of high school, I wanted to get recruited so bad. And uh, I don't think it was Paul Johns, but one of the guys told me I could come down there and you know talk to somebody when it was triple option. Um, but I didn't get the opportunity until a guy named Jared Southers, who was at Vanderbilt before me, mm -hmm. ended up at uh, Georgia Tech uh, this past year before last. Um, You know, pro style again. I mean, I honestly love seeing triple options, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm really excited for where it's going, and I feel like the Atlanta, Atlanta can really take off from that, especially, especially if the football is on track, for sure. You started at Vanderbilt, and you go to Georgia Tech. You know, for a while, Vandy was, was that team. Vandy was a lot better than Georgia Tech, to be honest, in the last couple of seasons uh, when, when they were going through their heyday. Yeah. How much of the transition uh, – Going from Vandy to Georgia Tech, how much of what you learned at Vandy you was able to take and mm -hmm. teach at Georgia Tech to those guys? Actually, a lot. Um, so our offensive coordinator was Andy Ludwig, mm -hmm. and then under him, my uh, O-line coach was Cameron Norcross, and this was the Derek Mason era. Um, and, you know, those guys taught me a lot. They taught me a lot about um, reading safety coverages, reading you know, corner presses, learning about you know, why a guy is about to do something. You know, once I got to Georgia Tech, I was under Brent Key. Brent Key coached at Alabama. You know, one of probably the best, if not one of the best, offensive line coaches. I mean, really, really doing it today. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the things he was talking about, okay, here, here's the triangle, right? The safety triangle corner. And, okay, we're going to read that. That's how you know if you're, you know, safety's coming. That's how you know it's going to go inside, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of those things that he was talking about, I was able to apply just through already knowledge of being, you know, playing in the SEC and the North Cross and Ludwig and Mason and seeing those things. Uh, kind of like playing out the same way mm -hmm. in Georgia Tech as football. It's football. It's it's funny you bring that up because you know, I played running back in college, and one thing we were taught from, and we had two staffs. So the first staff taught us to, let's say for inside or outside zone, read D line. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then the second staff said, hey, just read second level. And I'm like, wow, you know, that changed everything. So for you, you know, the, the, the fact that you played a lot, seen a lot, what, what has been your, uh, like, I guess the, the mental growth? Because coming in as freshmen, we all tend to think, like, oh, this is easy, just line up playbook. But then you get that playbook and you learn, and you're just like, oh, I ain't know. I thought I knew football. What was the biggest learn, learning curve for you, and then how have you been able to cultivate that? <laughs> I was a fre <laughs> I was a freshman, and I remember there was a guy named Zach Cunningham. Uh, True. <laughs> Zach Cunningham was the linebacker when I was on the scout team. You know, looking at him, you wouldn't be able to tell he'd run through your chest, but trust me, he could do that. <laughs> um, so, you know, at first it was really just learning about the speed of the game. Then as I got older and progressed, I started learning, okay, there are, you know, there are methods and, and meanings behind a lot of the things that are happening, right? And, you know, as I started to learn, okay, well, this is why somebody's going to come. This is why, you know, this, this and this is going to happen defensively. Once I got to Georgia Tech, Coach Key showed me, okay, well, uh, running backs, Amy Point is, you know, ghost like a uh, ghost or outside. Right. He's chasing a read. Okay, well, inside zone, go this and that. This is what he's pressing. So I started to learn, okay, well, this is why people are doing this. These are the aiming points. This is, you know, this is what the quarterback's read is. And I'm trying to start to get into coverages and start to try to really, like, elevate that. And that's another thing that happens as, like, I, I guess you get older with the game. <laughs> right. But it's really going from speed, you know, to kind of picking things up in game to knowing, okay, before, okay, this is just going to happen. And those a lot of people don't understand how much is determined pre-snap and because of the experience yeah. and that has helped you become the player that's probably why you're sitting here today outside of doing great things physically the fact that you're able to play two to three frames ahead of everybody shows you how much you love the game what would you say is about football you love the most and getting talk about it over there actually i talked about um 
you know, you get beat in a game or you get beat in practice, right? And you go back and you look at it and, okay, this is why it happened, right? Okay, well, nothing's going to change unless you really work on it and develop so that the next time it happens, it doesn't happen again, right? Or the next time they try to make it happen, being able to take what you learn, you know, off the field after applying it or finally applying it and having different results, and you're seeing growth. I mean, that is literally growth. And that is, to me, you know, that's better than any, you know, college atmosphere, or, you know, screaming fan or, you know, college beef that might be. I just love being able to progress and get better with this and these kind of stuff. You know, it's like developing and mastering. And that's the, the whole part of a, a lot of reason why you play the game. You know, you want to get better, you want to compete. And the seeing, seeing that thing through kind of got you where you are now. And that's always a plus, man. So I definitely wish you the best luck moving forward. And thank you again for taking time. And good luck this week. Yes, sir. Thanks so much.